Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and these are CM's Modulars to Carb as they are and to Carb VCA. <laughs> so CM Modular or maybe even to Carb might be unknown to the Eurorack masses, but they do offer a broad well, selection of very affordable Eurorack modules. So, for instance, the AZR, the SLU Limiter, uh, costs around 50 euros or the equivalent in USD or pound sterling, and the VCA costs around 60 euros, and again, the same equivalent in your local currency. So, very affordable, and with that in mind, I paired these with what's the well the entry point or the gateway drug for a lot of Eurorack enthusiasts and that's the nifty bundle of course so I've compared I've, I've bundled these with uh, chips and cells and I'm going to be doing quite some interesting things with them um, before we dive into the actual review I would like to ask everyone to like subscribe and comment uh, that will help this channel in unimaginable ways but that being said i would like to say well uh, let's dive right in shall we here we go so let's have a closer look at cm modulars to cab as they are and to cab vca so on the first glance you might think that the as they are is a very straightforward slew limiter or a function generator however you want to call it but it does offer some neat tricks and you can of course have your attack and your release set by these pop meters which offer quite a lot of resistance to be quite honest but what makes this interesting is if you've got the on and auto selectors there and what that means is if you have these in the normal mode it'll just work like any other attack and release slew limiter but if you press them down your setting will only be applied if the well the patch point receives a gate or a positive voltage signal and that's of course then normal between the A and the R so if you only have the A connected then that signal will be normal to to R and vice versa so you can do all kinds of nice neat things with that then you've got your curve selection all the way down from uh, nearly linear to nice and curved and exponential. You've got your range selector, um, the shortest one being the one in the middle. The one at the top is the, well, the medium setting and all the way down is the longest setting. Um, you've seen this on the Bafaco Rampage as well. So it's the same kind of setting there. Then you've got your input and your output. Keep in mind that these are quite close to each other. So if you've got a thicker cable, like for instance a stackable, you won't be able to use them at the same time because you won't want to put that much strain on your ports. So you've got to use, well, slimmer cables than a stackable, uh, and I've also got some lighted ca uh, cables. You can't use them because they are just too, too close to together. But that being said, let's have a quick look and see what happens with these. So let's um, open up uh, VCV. Here we go. There we go. And what we then do is first off, I'm gonna be using the ROT LFO from Mobula Mobula as the LFO for this uh, exercise. And if I then connect that to the input, and what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna connect that same one to the Expert Sleepers ES9 so we can actually see what's happening. So from device, that's the first one. So this is the input LFO that we were, uh, we're getting. If I then also get the output from there and patch that to 
number two, you will see that with everything turned down, you will get the exact same signal from there. But if we turn the attack up, there you go. You start to see what this module can do. If we put the release a bit higher up, you start to see these nice shapes appearing. I'm just going to turn down the curve and we can already start to see that this is almost nearly linear, but not, not exactly, but that's not a big problem. If we then press down on the auto, we will get the exact same thing, the exact same signal as we, as we did before. Okay. That being said, let's uh, grab this to a, uh, a higher input. Let's deselect these buttons. And this is a, around the length that you can get from them. Here we go. So I've turned the ROT LFO all the way down. A bit higher, I would assume. There you go. do beautiful things with this. And if we go to the longest setting, it's even more extreme. So if you want to be able to create really long envelopes or really long uh, modulation well sequences this is your module you can really do that um, it's of course it's not as versatile as for instance a maths or a or a rampage uh, but for its cost it's a beautiful module and there is of course a reason why I've got the create audio nifty bundle modules right next to it because I think that this is a great pairing where you have chips and cells and then the TACAB, AZAR and VCA. It's a beautiful combination. Um, that being said, let's uh, create some music, right? So let's connect the chips and cells and see what we, uh, what we get there, right? So let's uh, disconnect all of this and let's uh, stop VCV rack let's make some music with these two so I'm gonna grab some additional cables I'm gonna do the the normal patch for the cells connect them to the LFO there so you have everything trans traversing the actual uh, cell structure and I'm gonna grab the CV connect that to uh, chips number two I'm going to grab the output from that, use that as an input for the VCA, and I'm going to grab the gate and connect that to the input from there. and grab that and put it into the CV audio there. If we then grab another cable and we can connect it to the audio interface, we would be all set. Let's grab the right cable and we should be able to hear something. Okay.
turn the bias down a bit. And as you can see, because the gate signal we get from cells is extremely short, we truly need to make sure that we turn the attack almost all the way down, just a teeny tiny bit. And I might want to just set it in the middle section there. And you can already hear what kind of interesting sounds you can create, right? Because keep in mind, this is the normal kind of sound you get from from chips and cells. There is so much more to it, and these can truly be interesting modules if you just pair them with the right uh, with the right envelope generator and the right VCA. There you go. So the moment you send positive volume, uh, positive voltage to it, the actual setting will work. And as said, it is normal between A and R. But as mentioned, this is going to make your cells and chips that much more melodious. So everyone who bought a nifty bundle and doesn't know what to do with it, I would strongly recommend to go to CM Modular's website and buy these two. It's going to set you back maybe 110 euros, uh, the same equivalent in USD or, uh, or, or pound sterling. But it's going to make that journey of yours that much more interesting. And of course, you can go out and buy a Mats and uh, buy a, uh, a full-fledged VCA. But if you're just starting out and you're not quite certain yet, give these two a try. These are worth their well, their weight in gold. They're great for starters, but also great for the more experienced Eurorack enthusiasts. That being said. I would say let's go back to the studio and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be right back. Cheers. So I truly hope you enjoyed this review of the Takab VCA and Takab SAR from CM Modular. I do have to thank CM Modular again for sponsoring this episode. And I hope you guys really truly enjoyed this and saw how this might benefit. Uh, on the one hand, a starter Eurorack setup. So if you just got the nifty bundle and you want to uh, set your first steps into expanding upon that, or if you're a seasoned uh, Eurorack enthusiast and you see, well, what can be done by adding these great modules to your setup. Um, and of course, as always, if you've got any questions or requests, please leave them in the comments below or just drop me a line at jesper at the modularclubhouse.nl and um, that being said i hope to see you for my next video and in the meantime don't forget to like subscribe and comment which will help the uh, 
channel tremendously. Other than that, I would say, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you then. Cheers. Thank you.